What's up, everyone? Welcome to the uh, Power Play of CJ Prospect Profile for today. Today we're focusing on Chicago Blackhawks second-round pick and uh, Boston University defenseman Adam Clendenning. He's uh, obviously a big fan of the show. What's up, buddy? Uh, I was asked by a close friend of the family in Chicago to do a, a profile on an up-and-coming Hawks uh, prospect, so I figured uh, who better than Clenny, who uh, you know represents part of the future of Chicago's uh, you know young American-based nucleus. Uh, like guys like him, Kevin Hayes, uh, Boston College, uh, Brandon Saad of the Saginaw Spirit, uh, Nick Letty, presently in the NHL with uh, with the Hawks. So obviously Kaner and uh, you know a number of guys that you know call uh, call the USA home. The have won the red, white, and blue in international tournaments and uh, will continue to represent the the proud American city of Chicago going forward. I, I look at that um, that nucleus they have. And uh, you know, seeing all the the American names in that system makes me uh, makes me pretty happy. But uh, back to Clenny, uh, obviously a product of the United States National Team Development Program at Ann Arbor. Obviously, the track record of producing uh, capable pros and college hockey players is outstanding. Uh, played two years out there, uh, obviously in the U17 and U18 teams. I got to see him play for uh, the U18 team against BU. Um, in 2009, good, uh, pretty good game. Got to see Campbell play. Uh, the goalie got to see a lot of future. Uh, Folk for Carolina, Tenorti. Uh, that blue line was stacked. Uh, Brandon Saad up front. Four, but they, they really had a bomb squad that year, and they, they gave BU all they could handle. BU wasn't ranked. I think that was Banner Night at BU too. Uh, they there is I, I forget. I got a couple different games confused. But uh, at any rate. Uh, Last year as a freshman at BU, put up uh, pretty, pretty very, pretty good numbers. Pretty very good. What the fuck's wrong with me? It's the cold medicines. Twenty six points in uh, thirty nine games, and was one of the final defensemen cut from the uh, U.S. World Junior Team last year, which uh, is a shame. Uh, Buffalo, New York native, would have had a great chance to play in front of his friends and family at the uh, HSBC Arena, but uh, U.S. Hockey, other it is, and that's probably why they didn't beat Canada uh, in the semifinals this year. Uh, let's get nine points in. 14 games. Recently got his first Gino of the season, which is, you know, what you got to see to, uh, you know, long time coming. Uh, he, he said himself, you know, just got to keep shooting and uh, eventually one will, uh, one will find the back of the net. And I uh, was recently invited yesterday to the uh, U.S. World Junior preliminary roster uh, that'll train in, I think, Red Deer, Alberta, and then they'll, they'll cut it down to 20. I think he's locked to make the team this year. Um, USA Hockey obviously has a history of keeping the uh, the development team guys on those World Junior teams, and uh, I'm not even saying that biasly one way or the other. I'm just saying it's just, it's a fact, you know. Well, in part it is the the quality of players that have come through the the development team over the years, and I mean I can't say that totally because I cut a former captain last year, Tenorti, from the WJC team, who's now the lock to make it this year. But uh, you know I think he's gonna be part of a strong American blue line this year that'll. Uh, you know, his puck moving ability, and uh, I think his defensive acumen will come into play. Uh, a little bit as undersized at six feet, but uh, makes up for it with smooth skating ability. And, uh, you know, like I said, a high offensive acumen. You know, that's what they're going to need to jumpstart the rush and get those forwards going. Because I think once uh, the U.S. got a lot of speed, especially on the wing, those breakout passes and the tape to tape, you know, they're going to be off to the races more often than not. And, uh, you know, they're going to give opposing teams defensive fits. You know, I look at. Um, Guys like Jason Zucker and uh, Emerson Needham, two former development team guys themselves, who uh, who are going to be beneficiaries of some great tape to tape passes from Mr. Clendenning and uh, his uh, partners on the blue line. They uh, I think the the, def the defense are the uh, team strong point. They got a lot of guys who can play both ends of the ice and play a full 200 foot game on the back end, which is what you need. Um, I don't know uh, what the deal is with signing with Chicago. I think he's going to need some AHL season in one way or the other. But uh, I think once he gets established, him, uh, Duncan Keith, Letty, Seabrook, and uh, Har Harmelson, the fuck they call him the hammer, Har Harmelson, uh, you know, th if those are your top five defensemen going forward in Chicago, they're going to have a uh, a great team to compete out west or whatever new conference they're in. The, the, I think it'll be the Howe Conference, as I called it, uh, yesterday in the realignment special. So, uh, you know, best of luck to, to Adam, bring home the gold, and... Uh, Make the NHL sooner rather than later, kid. Uh, that's it for this edition of the Prospect Profiles of the Power Play of CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season.